Okay, folks, it's Nathan from KBL Texas Homestead, and today we are going to be transplanting our tomato plants. Uh, you've seen that, uh, those videos. I've got a couple of videos, update video and grow light bill video that I did. I'll put the links to those down in the description. But I planted these uh, tomato plants right here underneath a uh, experimental grow light back on 212 and we've been seeing how they were going to grow and they're doing good they look great uh, they're a little leggy for my liking but nothing we can't fix so we're just going to bury them a little deeper today in this uh bed here but we're going to get these uh put in the ground and uh stick stick with us as we show you how we do that i'm going to take some of these and put them in this bed and then some of them are going to go into pots more than likely so Let's, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so as we take these tomato plants out of their home that they've been living in and put them into this new home, you always want to label what you're putting in the ground so that way uh, you remember or you know what you have. If you got great memory, which I don't, then you can just wing it and go off of your head, but we like to label them. I'm gonna leave some of these in this tray because they'll go into pots and I'm gonna put some of them in here so I went ahead and made some extra labels that way I can leave a label in the tray and then put a label in the ground. Let's get rolling. First layer I'm gonna put down is a uh, heirloom Rutgers tomato that we got from Burpee Seed Company. So I'm gonna stick this uh, tag in the ground. I've got four varieties here so I'm going to plant four rows of these tomatoes and put four in each row and the other four stay in the trays. You know what? I'm going to put this tag up. No, nah, it's fine. You sure? Yeah, I got this sorted.
Okay, folks, we got all the uh, tomato plants in the ground. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some water on them, water them in, help them along their journey as they start growing. You see, they're very tiny. You can probably barely see them in there at that distance with the camera, but they're in there. They're looking good. I'm going to water them in, and then we'll wrap it up. So, Nathan from KBL Texas Homestead, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Until next time. Oh, to turn it on.